That is Sir Pink. Right, uh, Manoj. Uh, Manoj from uh, Punjab, right? Chandigarh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Manoj will uh, you know, explain about his uh, journey with home. Okay. Yes. Uh, nice, Manoj. First of all, congratulations to all of you for your success. <coughs> So initially, after 2018, after passing out my B.Tech, I started preparing on my own. So, uh, but I could not score well. I got uh, my best rank was around 1500. I got saturated after that. But uh, during uh, IS convention coaching is academy, not get not get coaching only IS convention <coughs> coaching. I got to uh, take class of uh, Heman sir also and Gautam sir also. So that time uh, I felt a little confident in uh, analog and EDC. Sir was teaching basic electrical at that time, uh, electric machines. So that was not part of it. So, but at that time my analog and EDC subjects were very, you know, very bad. Like I didn't. Out of twenty-five, I used to score four or five marks in test series. So after, but after uh, taking classes of both of sir. I had a little confidence in edition and all. Then I took uh, on online course. After taking a few classes of Gautam sir, uh, of analog, first I started with analog because in first video itself, uh, sir said that EDC is not required for analog. So in first video, he said uh, only things required for analog is weak squire and uh, some superposition theorem. So I didn't believe that, that this is not the <laughs> thing for analog. analog was impossible for me. But after taking few classes, it, I thought uh, that is the uh, correct thing only he said. Because in analog, he didn't teach analog. He taught this networks from basic concepts of uh, networks and just basic mathematics. He taught all the analog course. So it was so became so easy for me that uh, I scored uh, full marks in analog in gate 2022. And EDC also, I scored uh, uh, around 80% in uh, gate 2022. So, then uh, I after uh, after that in midway I got selected for ISO, so I just um, got bit little bit lazy after October, so I left the preparation of gate. But again in January I started again. Then I didn't find any time to take video lectures, so I just uh, had notes of because signal system was also a weak subject for me, and I had, I had uh, a notes of uh, Muhammad Yusuf sir, so. Uh, when I was reading through, I didn't practice a single question of uh, single system through a booklet or any previous circuit. I was just uh, going through notes, not even writing any formula. I was just going through because I didn't have any time at the time. So I was just going through notes and notes whenever I find time uh, after the office or during the office also. I was just going through the notes. So uh, uh, then I felt, felt that these notes are structured in a very perfect way that uh, the next concept is always linked to the previous concept. So I didn't feel any break in the notes. It was just like I'm reading a story. So I was just going through notes and in a single system, I scored 80% of marks. Like one question I left, that was lack of time only. Otherwise I scored, I would have scored full in single systems also. Due to lack of time in final days, I had some, like in my family, I had some medical emergency. So last four to five days, I could not study. So I could not attend communications and uh, few chapters of mathematics and electromagnetics at all. So whatever I knew in, uh, from my previous knowledge, I attempted to get just like that. So due to EDC, analog, signal systems, digital circuits, and control systems, networks only, and uh, of course, a uh, few sub um, chapters of mathematics, I wrote the GATE exam. So I'm, I want to say that only in home institute, more focus in the, uh, is on the basics and they fo like uh, especially Gautam sir, he focuses more on basics and deep understanding of the subject. He's not focusing, okay, this is the previous question, so I will teach this topic so that the previous question can be solved. No, he teaches in very elaborate manner and covers each and every topic. So, 
thank you Thomas too for my success and that's all. 24th rank in GATT 2022 in DC stream. Welcome, Manoj. Take your seat. So tell us a little bit about your academic background and how you started preparing for GATT. So uh, I got passed out from BTEC in 2018 from an IT Kurukshetra. Mm. So then uh, I started preparing on my own. Okay. So taking notes from Delhi and uh, study preparing. So, but uh, in two years, like in 19 and 20, I could not score well. I got saturated actually. Mm -hmm. In 2021, I uh, scored, I ranked between 1500 to 2500, like in that area. Okay. So I got saturated. I was trying, but I could not, uh, uh, I could not achieve good rank. So, but I attended your classes then in 2019 only. Okay. okay. I just yeah, yeah. mm. So then uh, I got to know that uh, the Home Institute is uh, now being uh, yeah. mm. so mm. by you. Mm. So I then I came to know about the scholarship test. Mm. So I gave the scholarship test and got full scholarship in there. Okay. So then I started preparing, uh, I think, June, in June I got the scholarship and in June only I started preparing. June which year? This year, June, June 2021. June 21, okay. I got the yeah. uh, okay. online video course. Okay. So then I started, and first two subjects I prepared was EDG and analog only. Those two subjects were very weak for me. Okay. So uh, all other subjects were uh, okay so only but mm -hmm. EDC was very difficult and analog was very difficult, impossible for me. Mm -hmm. So then I started with analog. Mm -hmm. I saw your first lecture. Mm. I could not believe that you are saying it is very easy and V equals to IR, mm. superposition theorem, resistor dividing attack. That's all you want. That's all, that, that's the only prerequisite. That's but the only thing required to do well in analog. Yes, yes, but I could not believe that initially. Okay. Nobody will believe. It. Yes. <laughs> Mm. Because uh, initially in the notes I used to see uh, every amplifier, every configuration of amplifier had their own formula, GMR, D upon 1 plus GMRS and all that. Mm. I could not make up all those. So, mm. analog was very, uh, even in open circuits, if something changes like uh, location of resistance, capacitor changes, it becomes very difficult because yeah. it is not familiar circuit. Mm. Then I took your classes. Mm. That was, uh, after a few classes, I started getting confidence like, yes, I also can do because the approach of uh, solving an analog circuit should is the uh, main thing that matters. Mm. Where to start the solving the uh, uh, circuit? Mm. Which current sh you should uh, calculate first, and how the current is flowing? Which path is flowing? Mm. Initially, I finding very difficult in that. Mm. I didn't even know how uh, in the output of the uh, where is the current going inside or out. <laughs> <laughs> so that mm. was the difficulty. But after taking your classes, uh, analog was very become very intuitive okay. for me. Intuitive. Now okay. I uh, like you in OPAMP and uh, uh, MOSFET also. If you give me a circuit, not I will not write any single uh, word on the paper. I mm. can easily find out the game okay. just by looking at the circuit. Mm. It became that intuitive. Okay. In EDC also mm. formulas were connected with each other. Mm. Initially, I used to uh, cram every, each and every formula. Mm. And I used to get confused. Okay, mm. EC minus EF or EF minus EC or EV minus mm. EF or EF minus EV like that. I used to confuse. Mm. But then I had the diagrammatic level of idea that in diagram, okay, it is mm. EC minus EF. Mm. In this, it is EF minus EV because mm. that is the difference. Mm. So then it became very, very easy for me. Mm. And in this year, in analog, I scored, oh, I will, Scored all the questions. Okay, you got all right. Yes, all right. Mm. And uh, in EDC, uh, one question that you explained in YouTube, that only I left. Okay. That is that <laughs> Topper also could not do. <laughs> Nobody can do. Yes. In mm. I think other uh, institute mm. also, the, some institute said it is a marks follower because the marks follower. Follower. <laughs> okay. there is a wrong question. They thought this is wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that is how things are. Yes. <laughs> So in the meanwhile, during his preparation, he got selected for ISRO. I think in November you got into ISRO. Right? Yes, yes. So that 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 means uh, there you suspended your 
gear preparation yes sir for a while like in norm like mm-hmm. i was getting settled in chandigarh okay and i used to travel every weekend to my home okay so, so uh, not getting time for yes preparation so yes. whatever you prepared till october end that yes. was the preparation on yes. which you went into the exam so in exam i did not even touch communication in emt Hmm. Because I could not prepare them for the okay. lectures, so hmm. in, at the end I did not even revise the lesson at all. So I was that confident. Yeah. I just revised some control system formulas. Hmm. Some uh, I gave some test of networks hmm. to have some practice of hmm. uh, circuits, hmm. and uh, two three chapters of EDC. Hmm. That's all I did. In last four uh, days. And that was enough to get twenty fourth rank. Can you believe it? <laughs> With yeah. basics was developed so good uh, from EDC. approach makes a lot of difference once you learn things in the right approach you don't even require so much of practice and also revision yes sir if you just have to link things logically within your mind yes sir then you can go from anywhere to anywhere yes, sir. just navigate through the different nodes in the brain yes sir it becomes as easy yes, sir. Yeah. and one more thing sir mm-hmm. because i got selected in isro so i didn't have any pressure in gate exam See? i was just uh, solving the questions ha ah. I was just going through. I, I was solving the questions, mm. and I didn't even see in uh, the stop timer. Also, I didn't see. Mm. I just was solving the question. So whatever you could solve, you just solve. Yeah, yeah, then you you thought it was over. Yes. Yeah, you came out of the exam. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the takeaway from this is, don't have any expectation. Yes, yes. That is the going thing. into any exam. So even if you are doing anything in life, don't have too much expectation. Whatever you can do from your side. do it sincerely and honestly result is not completely in our hands only the effort is in our hands yes sir and there is no point in taking too much uh, tension also yes sir because it is not a war so it is not like russia is fighting ukraine and we are fighting for ukraine <laughs> then you have a 50% chance of dying even if you disqualify get you will come back out or uh, you will come out of the exam hall alive only right? <laughs> not that uh, you will be dead yes so in life you should understand where to be really tense about and what things uh, yes, should be taken lightly especially career this thing okay you should be serious in career but that's not a life and death question yes, sir i have a friend of mine mm-hmm. he written uh, ac and im both papers okay so in ac when i called him he said uh, mm-hmm. it was very difficult paper I said no, no. It is. I thought it is a very easy uh-huh. paper because all the questions I was able to solve. I said to be frank, even I, I was saying the same thing to many students and many people who are asking me, like, is this easy paper, tough or difficult? I, uh, I mean, tough or easy? I was saying it's a very easy paper. Mm-hmm. Very easy means very easy compared to last year. Even Navin, won't you agree? Yes, sir. That get twenty one paper compared with uh, mm. this year paper. This year paper is far easier. Yes, sir. Get twenty one paper was one of the trickiest papers in recent times. Mm. That much I can tell. Yes. Then All he, jumbling everything. Yeah. Then he appeared mm. for instrumentation and mm. came out. Say, it was very easy. Very easy. I thought because mm. you didn't expect in instrumentation, that's mm. why it was easy. <laughs> and he got a good score in uh, instrumentation, but he could not get good, good, good yeah, score yeah. in easy. Okay, that happens in some cases. But anyway, so tell me something about your ISRO experience. We walked out of work. Or what did you experience so far in the last three four months? Sir, I got uh, mm-hmm. in semiconductor laboratory. Mm-hmm. That is one of the department of space center. Mm-hmm. So in that, I got a division of uh, technology development division. Mm-hmm. In that, uh, my work is in fabrication uh, lab. Mm-hmm. So my work is to uh, do defect analysis in on the wafer. Okay. Uh, while uh, processing a wafer, there are a lot of defects we need to mm-hmm. contain. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. defect analysis is my work, mm-hmm. and uh, I spectroscopy. What Spectro- is yes. spectroscopy? In mm-hmm. scanning mm-hmm. electron microscope and mm-hmm. uh, optical spect- spectroscopy, there yeah. are many tools mm-hmm. are there mm-hmm. through which we do that. Frankel defects, Frankel defects. That, that, is, that is ref- ah. that is uh, initially in the ingot. Ingot level. But okay. Directly, Once you slice the ingot uh, into wafer. After ah. the after the wafer mm. processing, we see the defects. There. Okay. Mm. So I used to think this microelectronics fabrication is very boring because there was one subject only in the BTEC. Mm. That was too very theoretical. Mm. We didn't even understand what is a wafer. Mm. What what wafer means. Mm. But when I went there, I <coughs> understood that. 
design is one thing, but uh, having the design in uh, real on real silicon it is another big task. Yes. So yes, so okay. designing a circuit on a simulator is very easy. I mean, not very easy is in the sense relatively it's easy, but to lay it out mm-hmm. and to tape it out onto a chip, it's a very rigorous process. One small lacuna or one small mistake will ruin the entire chip. Yes. Even the small defect, one small defect in the wafer can ruin the entire chip. So there is an entire division to contain the defects and to analyze the defects. Okay. There is an entire team mm-hmm. for that. Mm-hmm. So a, a single uh, So these chips go into the... satellites. Yeah. No, somewhere down the line now, like five, six years down the line, you can join some IIT, yes, yes. take a leave. Yes, yes. Like they, they have some sponsorship yeah, yes, program. That, program ah, that, that I have. I believe heard. you can yes. enroll in some IIT, yes, spend yes. two years and go back to Israel. Yes, yes. That is a no, good option. No, that's a good option. Because you already have a gate run. Yes. Now that means it's like you have a proven capability that you can get through and tech. Yes, yes, sir. But someone who does not do well in gate will definitely struggle in MTEC, yes. even if it's from DRDO or ISRO, because I have first hand experience of being with these candidates yes. who come from ISRO or DRDO in the name of sponsorship, but they end up leaving in the middle. Yes. Mm, it's a bit too much for them. But once you have the basic knowledge now, definitely you can enjoy the yes. you know study at IIT. I say mm. there in my lab there is a freedom to study mm. anything. Yeah. So I can meanwhile I can study whatever uh, like I'm interested in. Mm. Mm. So that is also no, you can actually go to IAC and pursue nano electronics. Yes. Because whatever you are doing is closely related to yeah. nano electronics. Yes, yes, so you can have more in depth knowledge yes. and also understand what is happening at the cutting edge of the technology. Yes. So these things you can so we have it. some tie-up mm-hmm. with the uh, uh, nanoelectronics department of ISC also. Oh, yes. so okay. they, are fab- they are helping us to fabricate gallium nitride devices. Mm-hmm. Okay. So wonderful, Manoj. Yes. <laughs> so you secured 24. This is a great thing. But even before that, you got into ISO, which is another good good accomplishment. Yes, sir. Thank you. So we wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. And enjoy your life at ISO. Thank you, sir. And don't stop learning. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Now that you have the basic knowledge, yes, sir. try to build on it. Yes, sir. Yes, always try to look out for new things. Thank you, okay, Manoj. Once again, thank you so much for thank you, sir. coming down to Hyderabad, all the way from Chandigarh. So, again, from Chandigarh, it means a lot for us. Thank, thank you, sir. so much.